Good day everyone, my name is Arslan and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, I hope you're good. I hope everything's fine. And uh, you know, today is our first, uh, you could say steel structure video, right? So we are going to be using this steel uh, section right here. It's going to be very fun. And uh, guys, before that, you know, look at how beautiful our hostel building is. So look at how nice it looks. I'm working on this and uh, look at these, right? So believe it or not, both of them are curtain walls, okay? So, I mean, this is how powerful curtain walls are. Look at how nice they look. Uh, you know, I've even made a separate video for this, right? So make sure you check this out. The 45 degrees louvered uh, shade and the completely parametric these uh, the diameter of the circles are controllable all right so look at how nice it looks and uh, you know today we're going to be making a steel structure at this point right here so let's quickly get started enough of the talking and uh, you know we are going to be using so, so this is i think my you could say my first video from our structural template not first but uh, you know I, I haven't worked on structure for quite some time so uh, the first thing is uh, let's go to level one and uh, let's try to uh, uh, okay, let's go to level one and the first thing is of course uh, the units. Let's press UN. Let's change this to two meters and uh, let's go to two decimal places. Okay, so the first thing is uh, the grid. All right, so let's press GR and uh, this is the grid which is one and uh, let's click on that and let's give it an offset of uh, of six meters. So uh, what 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 um, six meters and uh, okay, so one and uh, two and uh, three right here perfect after that gr and uh, uh, let's go to modify again and gr and uh, let's uh, make our second grid so this is it right and uh, let's press md and let's click on this and this is going to be a fine and uh, gr again and give it an offset of eight meters all right so um perfect right here and uh, right here so this is it guys this is our main layout and uh, you know let's even make two lines right here because it's going to be easy for us to I mean, easy is going to be easy for us to mirror things. We uh, we would need the mirror too later on. So one and uh, two, and uh, let's grab this one. Uh, okay, it's connected to all of them. So how about we unconnect? We bring it out. Perfect. And uh, unconnect. We bring it, we bring it out. Perfect. All right. So this is our main grid. You know, now I'm going to speed up. All right. Uh, everything is getting a bit slow because there's so many different words. So the first thing is, of course, the the you could say the foundation. We are going to be using an isolated footing. And uh, let's press space right here. And uh, let's go to edit right here. Let's go to duplicate right here. Let's press OK. And let's just change the side to, to simply one meter by one meter by one meter. That's perfect. Let's paste it right here. And uh, let's paste it right here. Let's paste it right here. Perfect. These are the three. You know, we'll, we'll make one complete section and then we paste it four times. So this is going to be an easy way. After that, let's go to structures and then let's go to columns. And the columns are going to be uh, height to level two perfect and we'll just use this for the moment so <laughs> excuse me um one two and uh three perfect after that you know what let's go to level two and let's start making our beams so let's go to architecture i mean structure we are not using architectural today let's go to the beams and let's start pasting our beams so the the beams are going to be uh, from this point to this point and then uh from from this point to this point right here perfect so after that uh, if you go to fine and we'll be able to see it so the perfect right and you know now we need to cut these beams so for example if we click on the beam we go to <laughs> excuse me we go to split element and we cut it right here perfect and uh, we cut it right here and perfect and uh, let's go to our 3d view so this is it this is what we have made let's try to improve or you could say appearance a little bit let's go to the realistic perfect let's activate both of these let's go to sketchy lines let's activate sketchy lines let's go to uh, lightning let's go for okay sun only and uh, let's go to the top left which works in most of the cases let's go to photo okay let's enable that and perfect all right <laughs> so after that let's click on that remember we cut the beams and let's give it an offset of 1.5 meters after that let's click on that and let's give it an offset of 1.5 meters after that, let's click on this point right here and let's give it an offset of 1.5 and uh, 1.5. All right, this is what we have. So everything is going more than perfect. All right, so now uh, it's time for the connections, right? So the connections, let's click on the connections. And you know, the first thing is importing all the connections, right? So let's click on this button. Let's go to add all, let's add, find. So, you know, we'll uh, individually find out the connections later on. So the first thing is let's click on this and uh, let's go to structure and uh, let's go to hidden lines and uh, make sure it's on fine so that you can see it. And let's add a connection right here by just uh, simply pressing that. For example, if you go to the wireframe mode and this is it, right? So the connection is added. 
and uh, let's go to this and analytical lines these are the analytical lines which we have to use on in structure analysis so if you click both of them you have added a connection so I mean uh, you know the once your concept is clear even if my connections are different from what we use in the standards it's fine you guys can change that all right so structure uh, connections and uh, this one right here this one right here and structure and connections fine after that this one right here and this one right here and structure and connections after that this one right here and this one right here and structure and connections and uh, this one right here and uh, structure and connections perfect so of course this one is going to be the the base plate right which is connected to the main footing so uh, for example if you click on that uh, connection and uh, let's go to 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 all right so this is the base plate and uh, let it quickly uh, load out let's uh, let's go to right here and uh, let's go to uh, best performance and it is not showing because uh, uh, yes now it is showing so this uh, you know this steel part usually lags and I also have a rendering going on in my background so that's fine so now uh, guys we have to edit uh, the connection a little bit alright so for example if you go to edit if you go to edit right here and these are the the main settings for our connection so you know um, there are like um, I believe hundreds, not hundreds, but tens and maybe a hundred different settings that you can change in uh, on this point, right? In our case, uh, I think uh, the base plate thickness we are going to set it to twenty, and uh, we need uh, J hooks right here. So we are going to go to uh, J round hooks. Yes, this is what we want, and uh, the diameter of the J hooks can be this. Perfect, right? So this is what um, I'm looking for. If you if you press OK, uh, there are so many different things we can do. We can increase the width and all that, but I'm just going to leave it. And uh, um, for example, if we, uh, we go to the south, so uh, let's go to the the fine, and uh, let's go to. So where is it? Um, why can't we see that? connection fail why, why, why did it fail um so if we click on that not apex haunt come on we we need the base plate fine so i mistakenly changed it let's go to the south that's why we want we weren't able to see it let's go to the south let's go to the hill lines okay let's go yes that is it now we can see it it takes usually a bit time so now guys we are gonna just mirror that for example let's pick axis let's pick that axis and uh, this is a very big time saver and we just mirror it right now that is automatically selected and let's just mirror it right here so here you go so three connections that the, that was the benefit of uh, these these um, extra reference lines that we added after that let's go to our 3d view right here find that the base plate is done and now uh, this point right here we're going to be placing the knee connection right here uh, if you try to go down right here it's going to be um, so where is it where is it where is it uh, yes this is the one that uh, I am talking about so okay this one fine so this is uh, the knee of frame at web with the plant haunch and the end plate so this is uh, what we have right perfect uh, let's go to our southern view right here and uh, can we uh, mirror this it's gonna take uh, it's gonna save so much time for example mirror it on the other side and uh, yes here you go so it, it's mirrored already and the base plates are mirrored already and uh, okay let's try to mirror it on on right here between both of them yes it is mirrored and um, so you know this workflow is extremely <laughs> you know it's a big time saver so make sure you're doing this and look at this guys so we saved so much time and uh, we have successfully added both of our connections um now our uh, right here so this one is left this uh, is gonna be the this is gonna be this is gonna be the the apex haunch but uh, you know we, we kind of need double so for example why do you keep on saying this word so many times for example uh, if we try to uh, I'm looking for the the double one yes this is the one all right so the double apex uh, haunch this is what we have let's go to back to the south and uh, let's click on this point right here and uh, let's go to the mirror and uh, let's mirror it on this point and uh, come on come on um, yes here you go guys so our first frame is successfully you could say our first frame successfully completed all right so very easy we saved so much time you know this takes quite some time so if that is selected uh, make sure it is selected let's go to the mobile uh, multiple and uh, let's just start pasting so no that is uh, this this line wasn't straight this is gonna be a mistake so back 
and uh, let's go to our 3d view again let's go to the top again let's go to the modify again uh, let's click on this and uh, let's go to the level one and uh, let's go to the copy and uh, from this point to to, 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 to this point and uh, from this point to this point right here and uh, guys our steel frame is uh, almost complete all right so look at the amount of progress we have made so we just copied it and uh, look at this all right so it looks very nice after that you know let's go to level one and let's make our initial floor so let's go to structure let's go to to structural uh, floors and uh, let's go to rectangle right here and uh, let's just uh, you could say uh, paste it from this point to this point right here and uh, let's go to the pickup lines and uh, let's paste it and let's paste it fine so you know I, I'm not gonna do that as this is gonna take so much time but uh, we usually uh, let's go to trim and extend and the one and the two and the one and the two at all right and uh, one and two and uh, one and two and all right so so this is our main floor i think you guys can do that later on by yourself all right uh, for now let's go to hidden okay so i mean you have to trace out the the columns all right because they cannot overlap uh we'll do that later on so ne the next most important thing is of course uh, the the roof architecture and we are in level two let's go to level two right here and we need a roof all right which is which can be even a roof and it's going to be our main plane so roof by footprint and uh roof by footprint let's go to uh rectangle right here and um a rectangle and uh okay let's just paste it from this point to this point and later on we can even extend it right so uh, let's go to this right here and uh, this is going to be the, the defined slope and uh, this point right here is again going to be the defined slope and let's press okay let's see what we have done let's go back to our southern direction and uh, all right so this is a nice uh, generic 12 is so much for example okay i said for example again it shouldn't be said uh, let's go to this to six uh, half of that perfect and uh, let's try to s bring down the the slope a little bit so all right and uh, let's try to grab uh, this point right here and uh, let's try to grab um okay let's let's just leave that so this is the the main roof let's go to our 3d and uh no that is the wrong uh, you can see a file let's close this file um let's work on our our main uh, structure so let's go to 2d and uh, this is the roof right so in fact let's go to our 3d and uh, okay we cannot see the roof and the reason for that is the the structure template let's let, press vv two times and uh, go to the roofs and uh, let's press ok and uh, now you're able to see it all right so th there are so many different things you guys are going to learn today all right make sure you follow along and uh let's go to 3d view can we extend this or do we have to edit the roof um let's go to edit um or okay yes fine and uh, let's go to our southern direction and uh, let's go to copy pick axis and let's mirror it perfect so there's so many different mirrors that we have done let's go back to uh, 3d view and uh, <coughs> excuse me and uh, you know now we are going to be making the actual the beam system and we're going to be making the purlins and all that all right so <coughs> excuse me uh so that's an important step so now the first thing is the set uh let's uh t -t 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 -t. let's set this let's pick a plane and uh, let's try to pick a plane okay we picked up that plane and uh, now um, uh, let's go to our hidden lines perfect let's go to our rectangle let's give it an offset of uh, not a radius but an offset of uh, say 20 mm and uh, let's just uh, paste our you could say our beam system so can we uh, see that okay from this point to and press uh, space to bring it inwards and uh till okay uh, till this point fine and uh, let's press okay and let's see what we have uh, done so this is the beam system right uh let's set this to a fixed number let's go to our southern direction all right and it is successfully pasted uh, so these are our w shaped and of course they can be changed right and uh, how about we change the justification point to right here fine that is the justification point after that let's go to the wireframe 
uh, wireframe and these are the other ones so you can even press ma and you can you can use match type right here so how about we just uh, try to bring this uh, above and one more all right <laughs> so very easy all right so the overall workflow is very easy uh, if you go to 3d as long as your concept is clear and uh, if you click on sa to select all of them and uh, you know th there's even these offset values right i mean if you want to give it an offset uh, the y offset um uh, if we click on this so this extension can be 500 mm uh, so there's going to be an offset yes so this is what i want you to do and uh, 500 mm uh, all right and then if we click on ma right here and we uh, what come on come on ma right here and we grab this and we paste it perfect and we paste it perfect uh, so here you go guys okay so now uh, we simply you know uh, click on our beam system we go to the southern side and uh, let's use again the mirror tool right so mirror it fine perfect and uh, let's go back to our 3d view let's click on the beam system right here let's press S A S A, and it's going to select that beam system also so let's go to south so guys you know you have uh, i mean uh, these reference lines we have saved so much time because if you do all of these steps manually it's going to take a lot of time so look at this our beautiful you could say steel structure is almost complete now the next most important thing is again another beam system and this time the the set plane is going to be uh for example pickup axis and oh my god i have to leave uh, i mean uh, i keep on saying for example so many times so let's go to show and they're uh, perfect right so this is the the reference plane that we have set and uh, now 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 let's go to this and uh, let's go to rectangle right here and uh, let's paste or you could say uh from this point to two 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 uh to this point and fine you know it can be a bit up and down that's fine uh, uh fix number six uh if you go to apply and uh if we press ok and uh you know <laughs> excuse me um for this one we we kind of uh okay let's how about we use just uh, this one right here but we can even import it all right um if we press ok and uh, if we try to zoom in so this is the section that we have important that's fine and again the section is inwards right so uh, if you could to, 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 to if you go to this if we uh, change uh, no not change uh, if you go to this and uh, let's go to, 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 to justification points and let's make this the justification point after that let's press MA and uh, let's select on this let's select on this let's select 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 uh, um, Go, let's go to more file let's press ma and uh, this and this perfect all right so uh, after that uh, okay so once that is pasted now let's simply click on uh, let's select our you could say our beam system and uh, let's go back to a southern direction and let's do the same mirror too so let's mirror it all right and here you go guys so this is our beautiful uh, you could say steel structure inside Revit, right and it is complete look at how nice it looks and uh, you know we have saved uh, trust me we have saved tens and tens of minutes by simply using the mirror tool so that's how effective the mirror tool is so i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i hope you learned something from this all right take care of yourself and uh, bye bye there are so many different steel videos coming uh, after this so make sure you follow along bye bye